Hi, it's Handy Andy Tech Tips here. And today, I'm going to show you how to use the GIMP to cut out an object from one picture and insert it into another image. So here, we have an Australian Kelpie. And this is a nice sunset. I want to superimpose the Kelpie onto the sunset. And here is how I go about doing that. Firstly, I'll go over to my toolbox and click on the Scissors Select tool. The way that you use this is that you click along the edge of the object to create a series of points, and the tool will automatically join them up. The lines that it uses to connect the dots, so to speak, will follow the contour of the object. Okay, I'm nearly finished cutting out the dog, but there's a couple of important things I need to remember. In order to complete the shape and join it up, I need to click on the very first point that I put there. And you can see that when I hover over it, the cursor has two little circles. So I'll click and then it changes to an arrow. Then I'll go over to the toolbox and click on the move tool. And notice these little points here. As soon as I click on the move tool, they change to a line of marching ants. That means the object is completely selected so I'll go to edit and copy, and then I'll go to the other image, the sunset image that is, and paste it in there. So now let's look at the layers panel. You can see that the background layer, the sunset is there, and the dog layer is actually called a floating selection. That is quite a problem, and I'll show you why. So the dog layer is selected, you can still see the marching ants. I'm just going to click off it and watch what happens. Watch the layers very closely. And look at that. What happened there is that it merged the two layers together. What you need to do to prevent that from happening is while the floating selection layer is selected, you click on the little plus button down the bottom to convert it into a proper layer. And now you're done. But there's certainly room for improvement. Let's rename the layers so that they make more sense. Just double click on their names and I'll call this one dog and the background sunset. Now the dog looks way too small in the center of the image. So let's scale it up. Going over to the toolbox again, click on the scale tool. To use it, just click on the layer that you want to scale and drag the resizing handles that appear in the corners. When you're done resizing, look in the top right hand corner of the window and you'll see a little dialog box. Click on the scale button and your changes will be saved. Now there's one final thing that I have to address. The scissor tool didn't do an excellent job with the edges and they look a bit ragged. So let's fix that up. In the toolbox, click on the eraser tool. I'll just make the size of it a little bit larger using this control here. Now I'll just work my way around the edges of the dog. And what this is doing is erasing tiny bits of the image and kind of smoothing it out. And voila, the finished masterpiece. I'm Handy Andy and I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and thank you very much for watching.